Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate stopping on by. This time I'm coming at you with a video or a series of videos to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the motion picture by the name of The Rocketeer, a movie that I held in, you know, very high regard in 1991 when I was 14 years old. I think it was the, you know, this movie was and still is the, the maximum times I saw a movie in the theater and it was, you know, I think I, I want to say I saw this seven times in the theater. I think three of those times was uh, second run theater. But for me, I think that's a record for you know, the amount of times I saw a movie in the theater. I absolutely adored this movie as a 14 year old and have loved it ever since. I still think it's really fun and just holds a special place in my heart. And the Blu-ray that came out 10 years ago is absolutely gorgeous looking and sounding. But this particular video or series of videos, I thought it'd be kind of fun to actually go through the, the the complete set of the the trading cards that came out in the summer of 91 to you know basically promote this movie and go along with the movie just kind of you know memorabilia one of the many pieces of memorabilia that came out in the summer of 91 to promote and this movie and stuff like that i got you know i got a big a decent amount of several you know several several packs of these you know these trading card movie cards in the summer of 91, but I never had the complete set, so it occurred to me 30 years later, I thought, you know, earlier this summer, I was like, you know, I think I owe it to myself to un go on eBay and actually get a complete collection of the Rocketeer trading cards. So I did that early on in the summer, and you know, knowing, they're figuring that I'd make a video series dedicated to showing all the cards in separate videos. So this is obviously, as you can tell, what I'm doing here. So what I think we'll do is I think there's like 99 cards total, and they basically introduce characters and they tell the story of the movie from the beginning to the end. And I think what we'll do is we'll just try to do, you know, a series of videos, each one showing like 10 cards. So that way we can just, you know, hopefully have it be a, with the exception of this video where I'm blabbing and blabbing and blabbing at the beginning, maybe each video can be a, a decent length and not too ridiculously long. This right here is the box of a uh, complete tr set of trading cards for the motion picture, the Rocketeer that I got earlier this year in 2021 off eBay, decent price even, you know, complete collection of cards. This was really fun to get and really kind of a little bit of a trip down memory lane and a lot of the cards uh, obviously not never having the complete set a lot of the cards were really new to me so it was kind of fun to to get this and look through it this summer 30 years after the release of the movie and also the cards so this particular set of cards actually comes with i'm pretty sure 99 cards that introduces characters from the movie and tells the story of the movie and then it comes with also stickers I can't remember how many stickers it comes with, but it comes with a bunch of stickers as well that on the back, if you put them all together in the right fashion, they form kind of one larger image. So after I'm done with showcasing on all these videos, all of the 99 of the you know cards that tell the story of the movie, then I'll showcase all the stickers and the image that all the stickers make together. So card number one from the Rocketeer trading cards collection features the basically the theatrical poster at the time oh, okay so on here it says 99 super glossy movie cards and 11 stickers this is the tops movie card series the rocketeer on the back here we've got the rocketeer rocketing to the screen set in los angeles in the late 1930s the rocketeer captures the dangers and dreams the adventure and excitement of illustrator Dave Stevens' popular comic books and graphic novels directed by Academy Award winner Joe Johnston, production designer on the Indiana Jones trilogy. It is the Walt Disney Studios showcase film for the summer of 91 and an exciting new Topps picture card series. Continued on card two, Cliff Secord. Checking out card two here, we've got Cliff Secord. A nice guy with a yen for wide open spaces, a stunt pilot, Cliff Secord, finds himself embroiled in an incredible adventure so dangerous and far-reaching in its implications that our young flyer had better get his head out of the clouds and fast. Continued on card three, The Rocketeer. Here we've got card three, The Rocketeer propelled by a fiery rocket pack 
The Rocketeer is a rider of the winds as he streaks across the California sky. To the world at large, he is a mystery man, a crime-fighting hero who conceals his identity beneath a gleaming helmet. Continued on card four, Jenny Blake and Oh Mama. Here we've got card four, and uh, don't be surprised if I look at card four a little longer than the other cards. Here we got card four, Jenny Blake, Cliff Secord's girl, the gorgeous aspiring actress. Jenny Blake is getting tired of waiting for Cliff to settle down to a steady job and life with her. What do these two lovebirds have in common? Good looks, burning ambition, and nerves of steel. Continued on card five, Ambrose Peavy Peabody. Here we got card five, Ambrose Peavy Peabody. A familiar face at the Chaplin Airfield, Ambrose Peavy Peabody is a superb mechanic and Cliff Secord's best pal. Like a tolerant parent with a naive and sometimes impulsive son, Peavy exhorts Cliff to straighten up and fly right, whether on the ground with Jenny or in midair pursuing an enemy agent. Continued on card six. Neville Sinclair. And here we've got card six, Neville Sinclair. Hollywood's number three box office sensation. Neville Sinclair is a suave Englishman whose debonair charm conceals a disastrously agenda. Will Sinclair sweep unsuspecting Jenny off her feet and into danger before Cliff sees through his evil plans? Continued on card seven, Lothar. And here we have card seven, Lothar. More monster than a man. Neville Sinclair's number one thug, Lothar, specializes in a fiendish form of murder. Backbreaking. The gorilla-like assassin is as grotesque as he is ruthless. Continued on card eight, Eddie Valentine. And here is card eight. Eddie Valentine. Tough and savvy, Eddie Valentine is a gang leader who is working for Neville Sinclair in the great rocket pack heist. He's a reluctant partner at best. Valentine happens to own the swanky Celsius Club where part of this amazing adventure plays out. Continued on card nine at Chaplin Airfield. And here we have car 9 at Chaplin Airfield. It's 1938 and we are at Chaplin Airfield in California. Hangar doors open and an odd looking airplane is wheeled out onto the tarmac, pushed carefully by four men in greasy overalls. Continued on card 10, Cliff's GB. And here we have card 10, Cliff's GB. The black and yellow GB racer emerges from the darkness of a hangar, sunlight gleaming off its propeller and fresh paint. It's little more than a gigantic radial engine with wings and a cockpit, a hunched aggressive animal ready to pounce. Continued on card 11, a hail of bullets. So much like a cliffhanger serial from the old good old days of Saturday matinee cliffhanger serials, be sure to check out the next video showcasing basically cards 11 through 20 of this collection. Thanks a lot for watching this particular video, and as always, we'll catch you on the next one.